You gotta get out of here. Off the table. Off, off, off. Off! Okay, guys, so oh, this, uh, this paper shredder works. It's just really noisy, and it seems like it's about to get jammed at any second. So I want to show you what it sounds like, the horrible racket that it makes now. Um, and then we're going to try taking it apart and see if we can clean it out. So here we go. <laughs> so that doesn't sound good. Um, the way this works, it has, you can see the red there, the green lights lit up. It has to be attached to the basket in order to work. So if I take this off of here, you see green light goes out. It's gotta be just right for it to come back on. But the issue that we have with this thing is right in here. Um, the issue we have is right here, the teeth, there's a bunch of paper and, and stuff stuck to it. So I'm going to try to, I guess, scrape some of that out first and see what happens. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, now before you do this, you want to obviously make sure that this thing is unplugged. Um, it looks like we actually have some bent teeth in here. They're even more than just clogged. All right, so it doesn't look like there's really an easy way to advance these wheels or really get in, really get into where I need to get into. With it all together, I'm gonna have to take this thing apart to get these, get this cleaned out. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go, go ahead and do that. We'll start taking it apart. Okay, so I've got the cover off. I've got the main controls off. Over here we have all the shredder surfaces. And I can't get this off because the cord comes in here. And actually, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I wanna show you what, uh, what I'm dealing with here. So the power cord comes in and wraps around and it's all zip tied pretty tightly here. And then all the cables come through. This is like one of those little sticky anchor things like you would put up whenever you're hanging Christmas lights, but they're all zip tied to that. So I won't be able to lift this up until I loosen this. So I'm gonna just use this tiny screwdriver and I'm gonna push down the little detent on this tiny zip tie. That way I guess I can reuse it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, whatever. All right, so I've got the, the tiny zip tie off. All right, that's, that's really as far out as I need to get it. So there's some gears over on this side. It's all metal gears. And then over on this side, we have all plastic gears. Got a few screws on this side that hold this whole gearbox together. And then on this side, we have some C-clips that should let us, well, it looks like we gotta take the whole thing apart to get to it, so we'll just do that. Some nasty grease on there. Real nasty. So that's two less screws to worry about. Two less screws that I have to figure out where they go later on. So that's all one big gear there. So I'll take that gear off. And then we have these smaller gears. And these attach directly, well, this spindle and this gear here attach directly to the upper chomper wheels. I don't know what they're actually called. <laughs> I assume I can probably pop this off.
All right, and that comes right off of there. Put this out of the way too. All right, so we got a bunch of screws for this. It's like really four main ones though. <clears throat> one for each one of these posts, these support posts. Yeah, so I might as well just take these bars out. Thread the screws back in so they don't get lost. Okay, so I have this C-clip right here. And I'm trying to get off of this gear, or so I can access this gear, I guess. All right, so the C-clip is off. Put that in the stash of parts, and then I can take uh, this gear off here. So we've got the gear off. So now, should, yeah, I should be able to just kind of pry this apart. Uh, looks like we got some bent, some bent guide there. Uh, we got a couple more screws to take out to access that side. And I think probably if I can get the angle right, I should be able to take this out. There we go. All right, so we've got the the grinder bars apart. So there's definitely the problem. These plates are completely smashed here. Plates are smashed. The little center divider piece is broken off. Uh, this support bar is bent, obviously, also. All right, so I'm taking a look at how to get, it looks like whenever this one got jammed, it actually spun it. It's not in its right orientation anymore. See these these teeth that run like this kind of in a spiral well this one its tooth is all the way down here so I need if I'm gonna fix this I need to take this apart and at least get that one spun but preferably maybe even take this one and either remove it or move it down to one of the ends where it's gonna be less critical so what I'm trying to do is get it apart. This side has a flange, so you're not, you're not getting the bushing off. It's all loaded from one side over to here. So what I'm gonna to try to do is get this C-clip off and then take these pieces off and then see if we can move this guy here. So that's the circlip removed. All right, and then these come off. They have little registration marks on them to make them fit over the axle. Each one has a particular way that it will go on. So that'll be good. That'll keep, that'll keep everything, uh, you know, lined up, hopefully. So that's the end plate and the end plastic. Jesus. So it goes spacer, plate, plate, right, spacer, plate, plate, And then this is the plastic. Plastic has a spacer in the middle. And really to line these up with each other, they have the teeth. So it's easy to line the two up with each other when you put them on. All right, we're to, the, we're to the damaged area now. So this plate looks all right. 
this one is destroyed. All right, so these two are kind of fused together. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this one here, but this is this is two plates. There's two plates here and a spacer in the middle. Um, these are just destroyed. So we'll see if we can hammer them back straight, if there's anything we can do. This is the rest of that spacer. Obviously that's not gonna be any good. And then here's the next plate in the series. It's a little messed up, but this one's probably okay. But no way to leave this out. but I might try to move it to the end. But let's see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can get this apart and uh, maybe straighten these plates out. All right, so this is that middle piece. Pretty much use it, oh, that's part of the problem. So I think these, the purpose of these pieces is to keep paper from getting stuck from in between these teeth. And without this one, paper just gets stuck in there and then it builds up. So I'm gonna move this one, this spacer and these messed up teeth once I get them somewhat back into shape to the end where there's less likely to be paper and probably less likely for paper to build up. So we'll give that a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to straighten this as much as I can. This might be one of those cases where close enough isn't really good enough. Um, you know, this is a pretty precision, uh, pretty pre precision instrument that a lot of close tolerances in the interface between these teeth with the other row of teeth. So it's going to have to be, uh, it's going to have to be pretty exact. I'm going to have to do, a, yeah, these these fit together like a glove, so. <clears throat> it's gonna take a lot of bending to try to get this right. You gotta get out of here, off the table, off, off, off. Off! Off, you, get off, off, off the table. So this other side doesn't look like it's bent as badly, but it's still, I mean, it's still pretty destroyed. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now that we have this set, I'm going to try to put it back together, put that set of them on the end, and see what happens. Dang, those teeth are sharp. So these little registration tabs are freaking broken off too. Well, we'll see what they do. All right, so I got the circle clip back on. I couldn't film it, uh, unfortunately, but what I did was I pushed down really hard on this plate and actually put a socket over it and hit it a couple times to get everything seated. And then it was pretty close. So I pressed down really hard with my thumb and got pliers on this clip and got just the very edges of these, these two pieces, like the two prongs, I guess you could call them, on the edge of where this little lip is in there. And then I hit the socket and then squished them a little more and hit the socket and squished them a little more and then I was able to slide it in there. So that's what 
I was dealing with getting that little C clip back on there. So there's my there's my teeth that I my little plates that I fixed there. They're still a little janky looking, but they're a lot better than they were, and hopefully being out on the edge will uh you know mitigate the issues with the misshapenness. I'll do the same to this one. I'm not gonna make you sit through that. Um, hopefully it goes easier than the first one, which, which really honestly wasn't that bad. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have it and I'll be back hopefully whenever I have the other one finished. All right, so I got the second one apart and moved the damaged wheels down to the end. Uh, I got the support back through all of the spacers I need to figure out how to interface these two wheels. I'm not really sure how that works, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try here and see if we can figure it out. All right, I got the teeth interfacing again. Uh, it's a matter of kind of squishing them together. Uh, getting these lined up, what, what a pain. Uh, so I have everything Think where it's supposed to be. I'm putting the screws back in for these these alignment bars, and I'm tightening them back down again. I will put this gear on right here, and that gets a little little circle clip. Alrighty, circle clip is good. On this other side, we have a couple gears to put on. All right, so this is not quite lining up. It's close. I need to move it just a hair this way. Yeah, so I was able to move it a little bit. What I was trying to get this plate on here, I couldn't get this part over this gear the problem was earlier whenever I loosened these two screws that little spacer bushing thing moved so if I loosen the screws back up it gives me just enough wiggle room on that bushing to get the piece back on Okay, and all that looks pretty cozy in there. No idea. Let's we'll just keep that out of the way for now. So all these wires were attached to that point right there with that little zip tie. It's around here somewhere, so we we'll find that and stick them back in there, hopefully. All right, I should have just used a new zip tie. This is ridiculous. Whatever. There we go. Old zip tie utilized. I feel better about using it than just clipping it off and throwing it away. So I'm gonna put the top back on now. I have no, I'm not feeling particularly confident that this is gonna work. So <laughs> I guess we'll see. Honestly, this thing might just self-destruct itself. I want to plug it in. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, guys, we got everything, everything put back together, everything plugged back in. Now is the moment of truth. I'm gonna try shredding up this paper and see if it works. I'm not liking some of those crunching noises, but uh, it seems to be working. So I guess we fixed it, kind of. I don't know. I'm sure you could probably take the damaged wheels out. 
uh, and just replace them with some kind of metal spacer, you wouldn't have any teeth for cutting out paper on that end, but it wouldn't clog. And I don't think we'd have this interference, this crackling noise with the wheels rubbing against each other like we do now. Um, so there you go. At least you saw the inside of the paper shredder, saw how it worked, saw all the pieces. And uh, we kind of kind of fixed it. Okay, so I've grinded up a few more things and it seems to be working pretty well now. I must have pushed the teeth out of the way. And I bent them a little bit and it looked like there was a little bit of interference on the ones that I tried to straighten out. So here's what it does now and I think it's pretty okay. It's not, not too bad. So there we go, I'm, I'm calling that fixed. So, yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching.